Battlefield 1 brings the familiar franchise to World War 1, a largely unexplored conflict in video games. DICE updates the graphics and adds a few new gimmicks with each iteration. But what's new with Battlefield 1? How do they change the formula this time around? Hey guys, JV here sharing my beginner's overview for Battlefield 1's multiplayer classes. Let's get started. Battlefield 1's class system is largely the same, but many of the classes have been retuned to support the early 20th century warfare. New to the series are vehicle and elite classes, which offer more options than before. The primary classes in Battlefield 1 are Assault, Medic, Support, and Scout. Each one has access to a class-specific primary weapon, along with a sidearm, two gadgets, a grenade, and a melee weapon. Sidearms include traditional pistols and revolvers as a backup weapon. Grenades include explosives, gas, smoke, and incendiary options. Melee offers a huge variety of tools such as knives, daggers, clubs, a mace, a pickaxe, a shovel, and a bayonet charge. Finally, each class has a mask that they can equip to avoid the dangers of mustard gas. Assault is a retooled class, completely different from the Battlefield 4 class of the same name. Assault no longer carries a medkit and cannot revive fallen allies. The new class carries submachine guns and shotguns, specifically for close quarters combat. Assault is also equipped with explosives to disable and eliminate enemy vehicles. Options include the anti-tank mine, dynamite, anti-tank rocket gun, and the anti-tank grenade. Suffice it to say, Assault is designed to destroy large enemy threats and kill infantry at a short range. Medic is an entirely new class that borrows ideas from BF4's Assault and Recon classes. The new Medic class utilizes a variety of rifles to pick off targets from medium range with an assortment of scopes that can increase its effective range. Gadgets include the Medical Syringe used to revive friendly players and the Med Kit to heal up the team. The Medic also has the Bandage Pouch, a single-use item which will heal one player to full health within range. For additional firepower, the Medic can equip a range of rifle grenades designed to destroy vehicles, lay down smoke for cover, or take out enemy infantry. The Medic is a versatile, multi-purpose class that is both deadly and necessary in every single match. The Support class is largely the same compared to previous games and serves a similar purpose in Battlefield 1. Supports wield light machine guns to lay down suppressive fire and prevent enemy advancement. The ammo pouch is a throwable resupply option, while the ammo crate can refill reserves of multiple allies who stand near it. The class can also lay down a mortar and rain explosive shells onto nearby infantry and vehicles. Support has access to an explosive sticky charge detonated by a timed fuse as well as the repair tool. This item repairs friendly vehicles but can also be used to damage enemy vehicles. Support is an adaptable class, able to handle multiple situations in any given match, but it's also very strong at what it does best, suppressing the enemy team. Scout is the old school version of the Recon class, essentially sharing the same responsibilities. Scouts carry lever and bolt action rifles, capable of eliminating targets from devastatingly long ranges. For more versatility, Scouts can equip a variety of scopes at different magnifications for the right situation. Scouts have access to a collection of turn-of-the-century gadgets that support their sniper playstyle. First are tripwire bombs, which can trigger a firebomb, an explosive, or deadly mustard gas on unsuspecting enemies. Next is the flare gun, which can reveal enemies or blind them, leaving them vulnerable for your team. K-bullets pierce opponent armored vehicles, while the sniper shield protects the shooter from enemy fire. The Sniper Decoy is a spottable gadget that marks the location of enemy shooters, and the Periscope can be used to safely mark targets for the team. Completely new to Battlefield are Vehicle Classes, which have limited availability in each match and include the Pilot, the Tanker, and the Cavalry. Pilots fly the planes, tankers drive the tanks, and cavalry mount the horses. Upon leaving the vehicle, each secondary class will be equipped with the following. The pilot and the tanker can carry a mixture of pistols, a sawed-off shotgun, or a compact revolving carbine as their primary. Each carry a sidearm along with a knife, grenade, and repair tool to keep their vehicles running. The only difference between the two is the pilot carries a flare to reveal enemies and the tanker carries an anti-tank grenade. The cavalry class carries a faction-specific bolt-action rifle, a sword, a sidearm, and a light anti-tank grenade. Gadgets include the bandage pouch from the medic class and the ammo pouch from support. 
Cavalry is another class with a lot of versatility, especially after dismounting the horse. Also new in Battlefield 1 are Elite classes, which are map specific and only spawn in game during a match. These classes deliver quite the punch and can take a lot more damage than normal, and can be picked up by any class. The Flame Trooper wields the Wex, a lightweight flamethrower that devastates enemy infantry. It also carries an incendiary grenade and wears a permanent gas mask. The Sentry is a heavily armored gunner, carrying the MG0815 or VR Perosa depending on the map. This class boasts additional armor for survivability along with a frag grenade, but cannot wield a gas mask. The Tank Hunter is equipped with the Tank Gewehr M1918, a slow-firing single-shot rifle which immobilizes enemy tank vehicles. Tank Hunter is also equipped with an optional gas mask, a periscope for marking enemies, and an anti-tank grenade. The progression system is a retuned version of the same approach from previous games. Each class has rank requirements to unlock new guns and other tools. But instead of unlocking weapons through playtime, now you must purchase them after you have unlocked them using War Bonds. War Bonds are the new currency system earned through ranking up individual classes as well as overall rank. This provides a bit more flexibility as you don't have to unlock several guns before getting to the one that you really want. Depending on performance, it may take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour of playtime with an individual class to rank it up. Keep in mind that class leveling is separate from overall rank in Battlefield 1, so as you rank both up simultaneously, those war bonds will stack up quickly so you can start buying new items. What is your favorite class in Battlefield 1 so far? Let me know what you guys are playing in the comments section below. So far I've been playing support and cavalry every time I get the chance and really been having a blast. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos here on my channel every few days. You can follow me on Twitter at JV2017 if you want to stay up to date on my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.